Hi Divas, welcome back. This is Jada Diva and tonight we have another beer review. Tonight we're doing something a little bit different. I've been doing a lot of hoppy beers, IPAs, double IPAs, uh, fruited IPAs, and this time we're switching it up to lager. This one's coming to us tonight from Bear Republic. It's their Double Ot Pilsner. And from what I understand, this is a, a Pilsner uh, in the in the European style, kind of on the light crispy side, and we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, smells like a pilsner. It smells good though. Have some foam rising up there. Jeez, I can take it's gonna take the whole bottle. I thought this was a smaller glass. I didn't realize it was going to take the whole bottle, but we're looking at what? Okay, so 12 ounces, not 16. Um, so that's why. This is the 5% uh, alcohol and double aught Pilsner by Berry Public. Said that, what, 50 times? Beautiful color. It's got that yellow, yellow amber, kind of a honey. Kind of a honey color going on through there that's beautiful the head oh man look at that it's just like completely even uh small bubbles uh, about a finger there of of height um tight bubbles very white um lately with the ipas you know i've been seeing some kind of off white um ecru color uh head this one is dissipating and um going kind of quickly and a little bit of lacing there on the sides, not a lot of stick. Um, 5%, I think has a lot to do with that. Light aroma, clearly a lager. Um, you're getting the, I don't want someone to say fruity because it does have a little bit of fruit scent to it, but a little bit of a uh, floral scent as well. I'm wanting to say banana. I'm not too strong on Pilsners. I haven't had a lot of them. Um, so I don't want to say definitely I'm, I'm getting the banana, but I kind of feel like maybe that's what that fruitiness is. Mmm. Light, cool. It kind of, as it warms on your palate, uh, the the flavors really come forth. See, I'm not used to lagers because with the hops, the hoppy beers, I'm getting all that hops, all those different layers of flavors and bitterness. And here, we're looking at the other end of the spectrum. We're looking at the malts and the malt characters and those grains and what they're bringing forth and um, the flavor profile wow that's so different uh, with this here made brewed with 100% bar barley malt and imported Hallertau hops uh, result is crisp and refreshing and it's definitely definitely what I'm getting um, just a wonderful you know the hoppy the hopper tower holler tower uh, hops there not the uh, the strong face macking um, punch of a aroma or flavor that I would normally be used to I'm enjoying it this is something you know what this is something that would be great in the summertime on a really hot day where you're just sweating you've mowed the lawn you have done lawn work maybe you were working on the car you got to come in from the shop you know whatever you want something cool and refreshing that you can enjoy, this is gonna be it. And those bubbles just keep rising, just ever so softly, just keep coming to the top. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> it's not my style of beer, so I'm not like, wow, this is awesome.
But you know, like I said, on a really hot day, you want something light and refreshing. This is it. I'm getting, you know, I, when, when I think of Pilsner, I think of, and lager, lagers in general, I think of American adjunct lager, where you're getting a lot of that, uh, that flavor coming from the rice and the corn. It's just kind of a, a weird flavor that, you know, historically Americans kind of became used to. And I never, I never enjoyed that. I never liked that. And that's why when craft beer came along, I was hesitant to try any. And when I first did, I was like, wow, this is completely different. Not at all what I thought. So this kind of takes me back to that, to that era, but not with that same flavor profile. You know, here, this, these grains and this, this little bit of hops in there are, are, are making it something delicious for me. You know, again, that fruity and that, that flowery aroma and that, that flavor. That's an interesting beer. I like that. You know, you just want to kick it with the guys. You can do that with that. Double Alt Pils Pilsner. I like the bottle. Have some great graphics on there. They even have like a German style little uh, shield going on here. And uh, that's a fun beer. You know, I'm having, I'm having, <laughs> I'm having trouble with this review because one, the style of beer is not one that I'm really used to. Um, I usually I, I avoid pilsners, not because they're bad. It's just not my thing. But um, two, it brings to mind something that happened at the Bear Republic Tap Room um, just recently, a couple weeks ago, before their their anniversary party. We were there and um, we had a rough experience and. <laughs> That was to no fault at all of the of the staff. the The waitress was wonderful. The management was wonderful. The food was great. I couldn't stop eating. I was gonna make a video of it, but uh, you know, with our incident that occurred, it just became kind of a, a crazy wild thing going on. Um, and the whole time, we had been well. Let me tell you, we've been wine tasting the whole day before, and I was like, we got to end this with Bear Republic. We can't leave Hillsburg without going to Bear Republic. Uh, so we were toasted, but, um, you know, I wanted to end it with, with the beer, but with everything that was just going on and being toasted and it's like the video, it was just a long video of me stuffing my face with French fries and, and, uh, artichoke appetizers. Great food, by the way. If you haven't been there, hit them up. They have some really good food. I got the, I think I got a, like a bean burger. Uh, which was really good. It was like a vegetarian hamburger, and that was awesome. And uh, again, the artichoke appetizer was so good. Um, but then the incident happened, and uh, they kind of put a put a halt in our in our plans. And well, maybe I'll split some of that footage in here for you to get the gist of it. But basically, the hot sauce exploded. <laughs> They have a hot sauce, and uh, one of the divas was going to put it on his hamburger, and, you know, he went to go put it on, it was empty, so the waitress happened to be there, she took it away and brought over a new bottle for us, and as he goes to put it on his, and uh, open it, the whole thing just exploded in his eye, Rod's sitting next to Chris, and it went into his lungs, and f suddenly for no reason, he's just like coughing up a storm for like 15 minutes that just would not end. And Karen and I are sitting there eating, and we're like, what's up with these guys? You know, they're just kind of, they're kind of going on about, well, you know, whatever. Yeah, the hot sauce, you know, the cap exploded, whatever. Well, we didn't know, because we weren't really paying attention. We were talking to ourselves, but it had not just popped open. It completely exploded open, shot over to Rod. As he's, like, breathing and drinking, eating, whatever he's doing, he's, like, got into his lungs. Chris, as we look at him across from me, is covered head to toe in hot sauce all over him. <laughs> it's in his hair, it's on his clothes, it's all across his face, which, you know, you'd think something like that would be a good. Um, it's in his eye, he can't see. Everyone's coming over to offer assistance. The manager rushes over to offer, you know, assistance and help, and like, here, you know, we can uh, help you rinse it, you know, we have a eye wash station or something over here that you can use. So anyways, Chris goes and does that, but it's just like the whole night is now all about this explosion at the, uh, the Bear Republic. 
public tap room. It was, you know, at the time it was scary, but looking back on it, it was the funniest thing ever, you know, for me, because I'm not the one who experienced it. I just got to observe it. And, you know, there's nothing better than laughing at your friends when they're in pain and uh, feeling down. So, you know, we all have our calling, and I think that might be one of mine. But back to this. Just that whole light crispness. It's like, you know, like I'm floating here. It's like I'm not being weighted down with a heavy beer. It's only 5%. Um, it feels fresh, it feels crisp, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and you know what, I'm going to go on with my day and, uh, you know, do everything I need to get done without really feeling bloated, not feeling heavy, not feeling like, uh, I just need to rest. You know, it's a good, fun beer. You can, uh, you can enjoy this, and, uh, you know, I think 5%, it might take me a little more uh, to get me going on the dance floor, but uh, maybe I'll head over there and, uh, you know, after a couple of these, you know, start kicking it and say, hey, how's it going? Let's hit the, let's hit the tiles here and uh, have a dance. Yeah, I don't really talk like that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. And I think you'll have fun enjoying this, and it's not so much about consumption and, uh, you know, how much you can drink, but just, you know, be responsible and enjoy it. And I think you're really going to like that. I'm surprised. I really thought I was going to give this a bad review just because I didn't think I would like a Pilsner. And I'm refreshingly surprised. So thank you, Bear Republic. Yeah, I, I like your brewery. I like your other beers. Uh, I'll need to do some other uh, reviews. Um, I've had many of the tasters, but I haven't really drank a lot of your beers per se other than Racer 5 and Red Rocket. And uh, I know you have other others that are really good. If you haven't had this, give it a try. You know, before I close up, I just want to say, please click like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm kind of rambling on. I'm kind of feeling my way through this whole beer review thing. I'm not one of your, your top beer reviewers. I know that. I'm not one of the, you know, oh, what is, you know, I'm not trying to learn everything about beer so I can know everything about it. I'm not a beer hipster. I'm not trying to be ultra cool or anything. I'm just me, just enjoying a beer. I like to hang with my friends. Um like to drink it on my own, but you know what? It's just, I want to try new things, and I thought I'd try it with you. And so if you're enjoying this, please click like, click subscribe. I could really use your help. Thank you for getting me to 100 subscribers. I'm just hovering around that point right now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, divas. If you'd like to contribute or uh, be a supporter, you know what? Again, check our links out. Maybe uh, click one of those links and make a purchase. I don't get anything from it except for a small referral fee and um, you know maybe hit us up on Patreon and uh, you know maybe for a dollar to a month if you can spare it just uh, you know you can contribute that helps us you know obtain things that we can share with you give me your thoughts what do you think of this have you had this what do you think of the uh, double art Pilsner it's a nice experience for me let's talk about like in incident 2018 <laughs> Here's what happened. what happened. Oh, okay. Now you're getting ugly. Back it up. It was perfect back before. Back up. <laughs> get back. Get back. Okay. So we are all here having an innocent dinner. Was it innocent? It was very innocent. It was very innocent. It was family had, I mean, friendly. It was very family friendly. It was a nice it was like kitty. It was explosive. It was, and then it got explosive. <laughs> Things got explosive. The waiter walks up and says, are you okay? And Juba Karen and I are like, your eye is whatever. We're fine. But like they're carrying on like like you know, like queens on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Turns out it really was like the hot sauce incident of 2018. It was like the biggest thing ever. And it'll be on CNN tonight. It'll be on CNN. It'll be like on all the network news with my words. <laughs> It was awful. It we were burned. scared to our our soul. He scared. It was he scary. For we we actually shed we shed tears. We we're so scared. Look at look at how pretty he was. No, let me show you Chris now. Ugly Ew. How now. pretty I was? Yes. I you was. You used to be Chris, pretty. Show, you, show us how pretty you were. Now you're swollen. Well, I can't because how pretty I'm you swollen. was. He's swollen. He was like. I'm swollen. He was skin and bones before this.